The recent hurricane has been a historic catastrophe in the American Southeast. As it currently stands, at least 100 people are dead, 600 are missing, entire towns are underwater, and unsurprisingly, the administration of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris has dropped the ball with disaster relief yet again. I'm Vince with RTM News. If you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that way we can keep bringing you videos like this. And with that said, I'm sure everyone in the United States at least currently is now familiar with the situation in North Carolina, Georgia, and Tennessee. But would it exactly surprise you to find out that Kamala Harris has treated the situation essentially like a complete joke? As it currently stands, instead of heading to the disaster site, instead of trying to figure out a serious way to help, Kamala Harris today will be headed to California for a liberal fundraiser with San Francisco billionaires, which is already incredibly tone deaf as it is. But to apparently save face and at least pretend like she is doing something, today she posted this tweet where she talks about how she was just briefed by FEMA, blah, blah, blah. She's helping out with the hurricane, except the photo that she posted, as you can see here, she is apparently taking a phone call, you know, busy writing things down, working on the relief situation with FEMA. Except if you look very carefully here, you can see that she has her earbuds in, but they're not plugged into the phone. Okay, see that? So apparently Kamala Harris was taking a fake phone call, literally a staged photograph, obviously, and you cannot make this up. And that's her apparent show to the American people that as the sitting vice president, she is doing something to help out the communities that have been wiped out by the hurricane. Clearly not the case. Donald Trump had this response saying another fake and staged photo from someone who has no clue what she is doing. You have to plug the cord into the phone for it to work. Biden and Harris have abandoned Americans in Afghanistan. They sacrificed Americans to an open border, and now they have left Americans to drown in North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, and elsewhere in the South. Under this administration, Americans have always come last because we have leaders who have no idea how to lead, and that is just so true. And frankly, I don't know how anyone can assess the current situation and say that this statement is somehow inaccurate. And folks, the story does actually get much, much worse in terms of the federal government just failing to respond to this entire situation. It's a lot deeper than a stupid photograph that they blundered by posting on social media, because listen to what Joe Biden recently had to say about the disaster relief situation in regards to FEMA. Yes, it's tragic. Matter of fact, we're trying to get the exact number. My right, FEMA advisors on the ground in Florida right now. There's a distinction between the numbers that FEMA's used and the ones that are used by uh, by the locals. So it's uh, it really is amazing. You saw the photographs. It's stunning. It's unbelievable. But it really is. So many, so such a wide area. Uh, and we 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 gave, give them all of the all, everything that we have. We're on the ground with ahead of time, so we're working hard. Thank Are there you. any more resources the federal government could be giving them? No, we've given them, we have pre planned a significant amount of it, even though they didn't ask for it yet. Had, had. Are there any more resources that the federal government could provide? According to Joe Biden, that answer is no. They've basically maxed out, we're doing everything we can. Well, clearly that is not the case because according to the situation on the ground, sounds like the federal government isn't really doing a whole lot of anything to help at the current moment, or at the very least, they're being incredibly slow. Take a listen. Being responsive, the federal government is not being responsive. But they're having a very hard time getting the, uh, getting the president on the phone. He won't get on, and of course the vice president, she's out someplace campaigning, uh, looking for money. So they gotta be, they have to be focused over here. This is a really bad one. And uh, the governor's doing a good job, but he's having a hard time getting the president on the phone. They're being very non-responsive. We're also gonna be going or talking with North Carolina. Uh, we're trying to get them hooked up with communication. They're totally closed right now. North Carolina has really been hit hard. Really, really been hit hard. The hardest, and we can't even get in there right now. And there are a lot of people that have been injured or worse. Very bad, North Carolina. We're working with the people in North Carolina now to get them hooked up for communication. So we're
are apparently supposed to believe that the federal government is doing everything that they can. But over this weekend, Joe Biden was busy relaxing at the beach. Kamala Harris is going to a fundraiser in California right now. Where's the federal government? A lot of reports on the ground are saying the federal government's being very slow. And again, like I said, the evidence for this administration gets far, far worse because take a look even at a decision like this. So over the weekend, the Biden administration decided, read this press release right here, that they would be sending more than 700 soldiers from the Tennessee Army National Guard departing Saturday, September 28th on the first leg of a year-long deployment to the Middle East. So right in the middle of this hurricane and the disaster that it created for states like Tennessee, right? Tennessee's one of the hardest hit states. In the dead middle of that, Joe Biden decides he's going to be deploying Tennessee National Guard troops, not to Tennessee, not to North Carolina, not to Georgia, but instead to the Middle East, which really has to make you wonder, A, how seriously is the Biden administration really taking this situation? Obviously, the answer there is not seriously at all. And then B, what country are we even serving at this point? That should genuinely infuriate anyone left, right, or center. You have a disaster right now in the heart of Tennessee. According to Joe Biden, despite the fact that they're being very slow, not very good at this, uh, the federal government is maxed out in resources. They're doing everything that they can. And then meanwhile, they're busy sending Tennessee National Guard, 700 of them, not to Tennessee, but to the Middle East. This whole situation, folks, is East Palestine all over again. This is another just disaster situation that their administration has completely fumbled the ball on. And in some ways, it's almost mind boggling because this is election year. Even if you don't care about the people, which we know they obviously don't, at least try to save face. I mean, you have two swing states here on the line, North Carolina and Georgia, and you're just totally neglecting them and you don't think that's going to backfire in your face. I have no idea what they are thinking but in stark contrast today president trump did something that neither biden nor kamala has decided to do he went to valdosta georgia in order to pay his respects and bring check this out a lot of relief material and is even talking with elon musk about hooking up starlink so that way they can provide communications to the areas that have been knocked out take a listen homes hospitals highways and cars have been plunged underwater entire neighborhoods have been turned into lakes Nobody's seen anything like it. And to every family that's been displaced here in Georgia and North Carolina, who's, which has really been hit, we're going there also, and uh, they don't have communication. They don't have anything right now. That they're, we're trying to, I just spoke to Elon. I'm getting him, I want to, we want to get Starlink hooked up because they have no communication whatsoever. And Elon, Elon will always come through, and we know that. And so we're working on that, getting them hooked up. They asked me whether or not that would be possible. And we're going to try and get the Starlink in there as soon as possible because they have no communication. And throughout the region, our hearts are with you and we are uh, going to be with you as long as you need. It's called an hour of need. You're in our prayers and we pray to God. And throughout this long weeks, the long weeks that lay ahead, you're going to have a lot of work. But the end result is it's going to be good. We just wish so many people weren't uh, so badly hurt and in many cases, sadly, no longer with us. So with that said, paint the picture. You have Biden and Harris who are currently in office. Where are they again? Biden's at the beach. Kamala Harris is raising money in California. Trump, who is not the sitting president, is acting more like the president than the actual president. You know, he's out there in Georgia giving out supplies with his own money and relief. And by the way, partnering with Elon Musk to do a private sector way to bring communication back to these areas with Starlink because the Biden administration is doing nothing about it. So it would seem that is what we are dealing with at the current moment, a total failure in leadership by the actual leaders and then people who are like literally not in charge with the government are having to step in and do it for them. You know, I saw a post today about how a Waffle House in North Carolina is setting up their own re disaster relief center. And it's like, so you have Donald Trump, Elon Musk and Waffle House 
are doing more than Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Well, it shouldn't exactly surprise you. This is not the first time we've seen an incompetent response to a disaster. And assuming they are allowed to keep power, I'm sure it will not be the last if that is the case. So with that said, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. And until next time, I've been Vince with RTM News. Peace.